on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I pushed the button. I don't think I hit it hard enough. Or well, maybe my battery's dying in the uh, in my Sony thing. Uh, the stick I hold with the camera with. So I better make sure I get a new battery uh, this week. Uh, yeah. Uh, this didn't go well today. I was I did pick up some retro beer uh, tonight. So it, it is going to be uh, later tonight. It's going to be retro beer night. It's not what I think it is. Uh, it's not what I wanted, but at least it's retro beer. You've probably seen it on our baseball vlogs um, over the past few years from the Lumber King games. Uh, it was part of their retro beer night, I think. I think I did a vlog on it uh, of me drinking this beer at the ballpark. I remember, I, I remember on the, towards the end of the season when they were doing a clearance sale to clear out all the items. Um, I think I remember I had at least one can uh, during the vlog, so... Whoopie doo yay! Okay, uh, yeah, uh, the beer I wanted uh, was not available, and according to the website, it's one of three stores here in town that that sells this brand of beer. It's a retro beer. It's my dad. It's what my dad used to drink. My mom and dad used to drink this in the seventies. Between you, between you and me, I think it's probably late. Um, that was my first beer when I had when I was three years old. I used to, when my dad used to open up a beer, I take the first sip. So yeah, I was really taking it in. Uh, I was really on the joy juice uh, uh, back in the day. But today's uh, today's uh, parents, if you feed your kids uh, beer, guess what? You're going to jail, <laughs> something like that. But my parents are all both dead and gone. Uh, it happened a long time ago. I mean, it was like early '70s, and everybody was just doing it back then. The, Parents were just more lenient, but stern. Um, I was one of the few remaining uh, generations that got spanked. Yeah, we got spanked. But if I would have opened up a can of beer and drunk it myself at that age, I guarantee I was going to get spanked really hard. Uh, probably by my dad, <laughs> more likely, because it was his go-to beer. Um, I'm talking about, the beer I'm talking about is, is Drury's. Um... I didn't realize, I looked up the history of this beer, I didn't realize it originated out of Winnipeg, Canada. Wow. Uh, so it was not a domestic beer. It was more of a foreign beer. Just, they decided to brew it domestically, in a way. Uh, some form, I think it was. But that was my dad's gold to beer. But what's in this bag? You probably might have seen this through the bag. you probably seen it. Yep, it's hams. We're going to ham it up tonight. Uh... I think we're going to do it on the patio later tonight, uh, possibly. And uh, we'll see you later. Uh, it's going to be a retro beer night tonight. I look like a fool looking out the window as always. Oh, great. We got a dumpster diver out there again. Yeah, I think there's somebody in the dumpster in there someplace. There he is. Yeah. He gets told all the time he's not welcome up here, but he's in there dumpster diving again, getting those cans and bottles, and that because a lot of people throw those cans and bottles away, and we try to keep them long enough, and we take them out to a recycler. Usually, one of our Davenport runs that's when we take them down, and that. So yeah. Oh, by the way, Elmer Retro Beers I did find at the one store. Actually, there's one of three stores in town. I think it was High V Fairway. And there was another store. It says Clinton uh, Liquor. And I don't know what they meant by that. Uh, what location. I don't know. Uh, so we'll, we'll shop around. And if I do find it, we'll, we'll show it to you. If we can't find it, well, it's not meant to be. But, uh, hey, I did see a six-pack of Slits. Uh, that's another retro beer that's been wanting to come back. I love to see these old beers come back. Um... But Ham's been around for a while uh, as a retro beer, and it's starting to get a following, a cult following, which is good because that helps that brand out. Was used to be a big seller in the 70s and that. So uh, uh, then there was, uh, if, if you're an old school Cubs fan, if you were an old school Chicago Cubs fan, when you went to Wrigley Field, what was the main beer you guys drunk at Wrigley Field? You guys remember Old Style? Yeah, that was the brand beer that Cubs mainly sold. But then they sold Budweiser and other stuff. But then they 
became exclusively more towards Budweiser and Miller products. So they phased out old style. They basically just kicked it to the curb. And a lot of fans did not like it. Uh, a lot of old school Cubs fans hated that idea. Because when you went to Wrigley Field and wanted beer, you didn't drink the other brands. You drunk old style. You drunk what Cubs fans drunk, drink. And I don't see any of those out. Because actually the brewery that, that does that beer uh, closed its doors. And I think they tore down what they called World's Largest Six Pack. Because um, my friend always, I have a Chicago friend that goes into lacrosse every October for Oktoberfest and all that stuff. And he always got a photo by the world's largest six pack. Now he has to put that photo up as a retro photo. So that's no retro beer gone. Yeah, somebody was asking this million dollar question always to say, uh, yeah, now you have to be 21 to gamble. You have to be 21 to drink. You have to be 21, uh, to smoke nowadays. Uh, 21 to gamble, 21 to drink, 21 to smoke. And guess what? You gotta be 18. You can be as young as 18 years old to die for your country. Go figure, doesn't it? You're. That's why I watched watching the uh, uh, a clip from Jesse Matera. He goes. Uh, he goes. He mentioned all that. He goes after he did a service, his run with in Vietnam. He de he demanded he wanted to go back, and they say no. You gotta take at least six months break. I say no. I want to go back now. It's in Jesse Ventura's. Uh, uh, retro, uh, thing. The reason he wanted to go back because, go back in the service because here in the country, in my own country, I'm considered a child. But, uh, if I go back to Vietnam, he, he, see, he goes back to Vietnam, and guess what? He becomes a man. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so, yeah, I guess I get blame, I don't blame him on that one. But that was, that was classic Jesse Body Ventura. Uh, classic Jesse Ventura. And that, and yes, he, it was. It does sound fuzzy. Uh, it does sound f funny because the government on other stuff when it comes to drinking, gambling, smoking. Oh no, you gotta be 21 to do that, and we'll ID you up to your age 40. Uh, but yeah, when you want to die for your country, oh yeah, 18 is fine. I don't know. Sometimes things don't make sense. In fact, if you agree, things don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And when it does make sense, guess what? It still don't make sense. Right now, uh, we'll say hi to Angie. And we'll pop one of those open and just say cheers to Retro Beers. Maybe you'll see more of it on our channel. You never know. Oh, wow. We got to make sure we do this video quickly. I like the lighting all of a sudden. I think I might fix the camera. I think, I, think, I think we fixed the camera right now until we screw it up. Okay, uh, what do you have to say? Hello, YouTube. Okay, uh, yeah, if you, uh, just didn't find my beer today I wanted. I wanted to buy Drury's. Okay, for the ones who had a fast typing, and guess what I had, uh, in the bag, and of course. I don't know what it was. Yeah, uh, and I said we're going to ham it up. Yep, we got hams. This is the, uh, our old school beer I was talking about, but that's not the one I really wanted I really didn't really want to uh, get that because, um, but I ended up getting it anyway because I just feel like drinking a few old school beers tonight. What about you? What are you drinking tonight? Wine coolers. Yeah, is that old school too? Wild berries. Wild berry, not old school. Well, it is somewhat old school. Is it? Most stores don't even sell them no more. I know. <laughs> and that, so yeah. Um, you guys. We got this in Illinois, and it's five cent deposit. Secret. Ooh, she's telling you secrets. <laughs> yeah. About that. Yeah, how about that? So, you guys probably saw me drink this beer at a couple of our baseball games. Uh, technically, in a way. Yeah, he did. So, uh, it's a good beer. I would. Pre I don't know if I would prefer it over Miller Lite, but uh, tell you what. I think it tastes better than Miller Lite. And it's not even a, a light beer either. So, But then, because it's old school, it does give you one thing. It probably gives you a headache too. But yeah, it is uh, born uh, born in the uh, land of a sky blue waters. In other words, it was uh, brewed in Wisconsin. 
most beer companies will always been brewed in Wisconsin. It's not just a cheese state. It's also known to be a beer state, too. So, it is. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. You notice how dark it got all of a sudden. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, boy. Let me turn off the camera and see if we can brighten up things up. Well, I guess we're going to have to finish this video in the dark, I guess. I, it's something with the camera, guys. It's not the lighting. It's something with the camera uh, for some reason. Okay, uh, like I said, we are going to be hamming her up tonight. We are. She's going to be cooling her up. I think we're going to get out of here because uh, for some reason, like I said, we're going to try this one more time before we head out uh, to see if it fixes the lighting. But as, as you saw on the clips, it, it's, the, it's the camera. It's not the lighting. It's the camera. She just wants to wrap up. Oh, she just finally realized that Drury's started out as a Canadian beer. I did not know that. Yeah, she did not know that. I did not know that until I told you earlier in this video. Uh, you guys can look it up. Uh, it's online. Uh, the information is online. It's called Drury's. No, that was my I have never heard of that one. That was my dad's beer uh, back in the late... And of course, Angie just found out that's my first taste of alcohol when I was three years old. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Fun days in the 70s. How was your fun days in the 70s? I was born in the 70s. Please like, share, subscribe, and subscribe to the notification bell. We'll debate on this some other time. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.